Now here we have a question where we've got to use interpolation to estimate the value of the median from this grouped frequency table. And this is a topic that I'm often asked how to do. And I have come up with what I think is a pretty easy method. I don't really follow any formula. So I'll show you how it's done. Basically what we've got is on a randomly chosen day we're told that each of the 30 students in a class recorded the time t minutes to the nearest minute they spent on their homework. And the data for the class is summarized in this table below. And so we've got to use interpolation then to estimate the value of the median. Well, where is that median going to be? Well, we're, first of all, we're dealing with continuous data. So we've got 32 students, so we halve that and we're looking for the 16th value. So where is the 16th value going to be? Well, if we come down through the list here, we see that we've got two values which are less than or equal to, if you like, the upper bound for this interval here, which is going to be 19.5. So remember it's measured to the nearest minute. Then we've got here a total of six values, four and two, which are less than or equal to the 29.5. So six values less than or equal to 29.5. Coming down a bit further, we're still looking for where that 16th value is going to be. So the commutative frequency up through here is going to be 8 and 4, which is 12, and 2 is 14. 14 values then are less than or equal to 39.5. Remember, we're measuring to the nearest minute. If I carry on a bit further down, and I take another 11, that's going to bring me up to 25. 25 values are less than or equal to 49.5. So the 16th value has to be in this interval from 40 to 49. Now strictly speaking it doesn't go from 40 to 49. It's going really from 39.5 to 49.5. And what I do is I just draw a line, always representing that class interval. And on this class interval, I'm going to mark in the lower bound, which is 39.5. And the upper bound is going to be 49.5. So I've got my class interval there. Now I do know that there are 14 values less than the 39.5 and I'm going to write that below. And I know at this upper end I've got a commutative total of 25 values are less than the 49.5 so I put 25 there. Now I'm looking for the 16th value. Remember we had 32 students so the median will be the 16th value. And the 16th value is going to be fairly close to this 14. I'm just going to put it there. Okay, there's my 16th value. And the corresponding value for that is going to be the median, Q2 in other words. Now all I do when I'm doing questions like this is do comparisons now. I compare this width across here, the difference between Q2 and 39.5, with the one directly below it. Okay, we'll just mark that in in blue, say. Okay, so I do that, compare with that, and then I next compare the width from 49.5 to 39.5 with an equivalent one below, the width between 25 and 14. So I set up this equation. I just say this width, that solid red line, which is Q2 minus 39.5. I compare it with, divide it in other words, with the width below it, 16 minus 14. And then 
that is going to be equal to just comparing this width with this one. And this width on the top is 49.5 minus 39.5. 49.5 then minus 39.5. And then I compare that with the width below, 25 minus 14. What I'm basically doing is setting up what is called a ratio equation. I'm comparing this with this width and it's got to be in the same ratio as this width compared with this one. Dead easy in my opinion anyway. So all I need to do now is just rearrange this to work out what Q2 is. And if I do that, what I've got here is essentially 16 take 14, which is going to be 2, and I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. And if I do that, it'll be 2 times this value, and then I'm going to add the 39.5 on. So I've got 2 then, coming from the 16 take 14, multiplied by this fraction. Well, the top here is going to be 10, and the bottom here is going to be 11. So it's 2 times 10 elevenths, and then I add the 39.5. Work this out, and what you find you get is 41.31818, and so on. And if I round this, say, to, let's say, three significant figures, it's going to be 41.3. 41.3, then, minutes to three significant figures, 3SF for short. All right.